title of the first section is multiplying using distributive property. In this section, we'll simplify by multiplying using distributive property. First question is 2 and inside parentheses x plus 5. Distributive property, we can take the number outside the parentheses and multiply it by each number and each term inside the parentheses. So the first multiplication, 2 times x would be 2x and 2 times a positive 5 would be positive or plus 10. So our final answer, 2x plus 10. Second question, x and inside parentheses x minus 3. Multiplying again the number or term outside by each number and each term inside the parentheses. x times x if you remember from previous sections, we can put exponents on these. And when you multiply, we'll be adding the exponents. So x times x would be x squared. And x times a negative 3 would be minus 3x. So our final answer, x squared minus 3x. And last question for the section, 3y and inside parentheses y plus 2. Again, multiplying the term outside by each term inside the parentheses. 3y times y would be 3y squared. And 3y times a positive 2 would be positive 6y. So our final answer, 3y squared plus 6y. The title of the last section today is more multiplying using distributive property. In this section, we'll continue to use distributive property to simplify expressions. First question in parentheses x plus 10 and outside parentheses 3x. In this question the term comes after the parentheses instead of before. Same steps you can distribute by multiplying the term outside by each term inside. 3x times x would be 3x squared and 3x times a positive 10 would be plus 30x. So our final answer 3x squared plus 30x. Second question negative 5y and inside parentheses y plus 2. Multiplying the term outside by each term inside. This time we have a negative 5y and we're multiplying by y. So that would be negative 5y squared. And negative 5y times a positive 2 would be negative 10y. Next question, a to the fourth power and inside parentheses a to the third power plus 
a to the second power. And again, multiplying the term outside by each term inside the parentheses. a to the fourth power times a to the third power. Again, if you remember from our previous sections, a to the fourth times a to the third will be adding the exponents. That'll be a to the seventh. And a to the fourth times a positive 2a squared. Positive 2 will stay the same. And a to the fourth times a squared, adding the exponents again, will have a to the sixth. So the final answer, a to the seventh plus 2a to the sixth. And last question for the section. 2x and inside parentheses 6x to the third power minus x to the second power plus 5x. Again, the term outside 2x will multiply by each term on the inside of the parentheses. And this time there's three terms or three numbers to multiply. The first term, 2x times 6x to the third. We can first multiply the coefficients or numbers in front. 2 times 6 will be 12. And x times x to the third. Again, x we can put a 1 on. x to the first power times x to the third. Adding the exponents, we'll have x to the fourth. The second term, 2x times a negative x squared. 2 times a negative would be negative 2. And x times x squared, adding the exponents, would be x cubed. And last term, 2x times a positive 5x. 2 times 5 would be 10. And x times x would be x squared. So our final answer, 12x to the fourth power minus 2x to the third power plus 10x squared.